Hello everyone, so today I am going for a bit of an Instagram shoot with Liam because um, I have some stuff to shoot um, and I thought I'd bring you along for the ride um, and show you how I get it all sorted, how I organise my stuff, um, where we find locations, um, also we're moving soon so I don't mind giving away where we live. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, this is the beginning of it, so this is my wardrobe um looks a bit of a mess um and here i have everything laid out so um i'm going to be doing the outfit i'm wearing right now i've got a new jumper and it's pink and i'm going to be wearing it with these pink shoes but i have also got these four outfits to shoot so um what i've done is i've compiled them into like everything that they go together so the right bra for it and the right shoes um like a bag to go with this one these go with that um i've got a new jumper but old stuff here and then i've got some accessories oh so these are my makeups that i take with me so i just have a couple of lipsticks a really bright one and a nudie one um and then i always take this with me so i don't take a full load of makeup because like you can always edit it if you don't have enough makeup in the picture um but this is really good just to touch up um i've got a couple of phone cases i need to shoot and also some sunglasses because all my sunglasses shots seem to do a whole lot better um maybe people don't like my eyes I don't know <laughs> anyway um also in here in this pouch i have some camera batteries and um some more memory cards and then with me i take um two cameras so on this one we've got a bit more of a close-up lens this one's um gonna give you that uh, background but it's you can go a bit like you can get in more of the body whereas this one's more like a headshot lens um just so you know this one is 45 millimeter 1.8 this one is 17 millimeter 1.8 to I don't even know what that means but there you go you can see what it is um, and then the best accessory of all is Coco she's gonna be coming with us although she doesn't look like she's that keen um yeah so I'm gonna put it all in that bag and then we're going to get going Liam is also shooting stuff today so um a bit of a tag team um I'm gonna drive around bring you with me we're on our way to location number one where I've actually done a shoot there before and um, it's a kind of dull looking wall which seems to have photographed really nicely um so we will switch up the angles and hopefully both get some shots there um my first outfit is um a nice pink kind of crew neck type thing or is it boat neck no crew neck i think and um got coco and liam's driving and um yeah hopefully we'll get some nice photos today i'm actually boiling it's so sunny but then it looks like the weather's really bad for a week so that's why we're trying to get lots of content right now and before I started doing Instagram a bit more professionally as such, um, I used to just go and shoot on the day, but actually you run out of content really quickly. So I kind of advise like having a day, if you know it's gonna be sunny and you're gonna have time off work to just go and take like five outfit shots or something. So this is spot number one. It's um, a bit dull. I mean, do you know what, when you live in suburbia, it's, really hard to find places that don't just have trees and grass um so this is some sort of like garages which is actually private um but uh, there's this wall just here which is like weirdly painted but it just photographs really nicely um yeah but everywhere i live just has these bricks and i don't like bricks for my photos so yeah here it comes Liam and Coco. Um, I think we're gonna get some shots of both of us. Um, yeah, so let's get set up. We have come home for a second because I needed a wee and also I wanted some cake. Um, this is from, um, where's it from? Waitrose in the sale from the Easter section. Really good. Um, didn't take you on the journey for what we were filming, <laughs> men and black. Um, I don't know the music to that one. Oh, here comes the men in black. Oh, anyway, here's some um, things that I shot, um, which were some summer dresses. The only problem is, is that neither of us are camera clever people. Um, and we were struggling, and then we argued. There is such a thing as too much light. Mm. Yeah. Who would have thought? 
So, stressy. Um, we're going back out, we're re-evaluating. I'm going back out and I've changed my outfit. This is from Nobody's Child. These are and or from John Lewis. And these, down here, are my Converse. We are now up behind um, Service and Station because there's this really nice blue wall which I thought would go well with the jumper I'm wearing. Oh, now all my stuff's fallen down. Oh, I wish I had like a table I could take with me on shoots. <laughs> to like just prop myself. Oh, and now my phone's on the floor and now Liam's sunglasses are on the floor, I think. Oh, oh he's getting angry because they're 300 pounds. <gasps> Snob. Um, oh, oh, they're fine. <laughs> um, anyway, my fur coat is, well, fake fur is all over the floor and so is my phone. I've got a new phone case from um, Idea of Sweden. Um, anyway, um, yeah, just taking some really cool photos um, of me hanging off this wall, which actually hurt quite a lot. Um, but let me show you. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, hang on. Look, quite pleased with these. Yeah, some fun ones. Um, but now we're about to take some pictures of Liam here. Um, it's a really good spot, and every time, like, we need a good kind of urban bit in Surrey, <laughs> this is the most urban you can get. But here you can see the train station um, here. Yeah. So let's get shooting Liam. So after spending a really, really long time trying to get photos of me, I don't know if this is a sign that I'm a better photographer or Liam's a better model. <laughs> Oh, loud train. Um, anyway, just nailed this shot of Liam. Look how freaking cool it is. I'm so proud of myself. He looks like a ballerina from like Ballet Boys. Um, look at that. Oh, I don't know if you're able to see it. Look at that shot. So freaking awesome. Oh my god, why can't I get it in focus? Can you see? There you go. Super close, it's very bright. Hmm. Oh, look at that shot. Go over to Liam's Instagram at Elevate Sport. I'm sure it'll be up by now. Incredible. So proud of him. Yeah. I'm a photographer now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so now I've changed and we are going to do another shot of me in this area but from a different direction. But we're also, Liam's got a bottle that he wants to shoot. But it's not an advert. It's just that he likes it. And <clears throat> it's hard because a lot of people don't like adverts. Um, and they immediately don't like it. But... If you really genuinely like something and it's and you're not paid for it, like you obviously want to put it up. So if you're not a blogger, let me know what your feelings are on that. And like, should we be just not shooting anything that's labeled or what? Help us out. Um, this is the said bottle. Yeah, Liam just likes it and he wants it. There you go, there's the shot. Boom, snap. <laughs> so, finished now. Shoot done. And now it's time to catch up on our emails and be unsociable and ignore each other. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, why is it that my photo that I put up yesterday, this one, has got 236 likes? The photo I put up the day before was this one, and it has 452 likes. And I personally, oh, and then this one that, a couple of days ago, 494. I personally think that that photo is nicer than those two. So why is it not done well? Is it down to what time I put it up in the algorithm? Or is it down to you just prefer the photos I don't like as much? Who knows? Yeah. Anyway. So this sneak peek is something that is happening very soon. So whilst I wait for Liam to do his emails, I am immediately with the Olympus pen downloading the photos. So as you can see here, um, just start up this Wi-Fi thing and then it's already attached to here. So I go onto the app, which is here. And I've already selected the ones I like. So there's 20 ones I like and I'm going to import them and they'll slowly come down. Tick, 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 tick. Can't text and drive. Liam's ready to go. Let's get home. Liam has a rehab client in half an hour at home. 
So, yeah. fix, fix them peeps. Fix them peeps, yeah. Yeah, I don't talk like that. <laughs> Move. Three point turn, two point turn. Or is that three point turn? I can't ever work out with so a three point turn where the points happen. Well, the third one was me driving away, so. So I am home now and um, about to edit my photos. Um, but then I quickly got a thing from my agency I had to self tape where I look like quite the weirdo. Um, that's what you do when you're acting and everything. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can put it, turn music off so it doesn't like get copyright. Basically just dancing around. That is what I do on a self tape. Look like a bit of a pleb. But you kind of stop caring because it's your job. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so the big thing when you've been uh, shooting is the mess afterwards. Gotta somehow tidy up all that stuff. It's so gross. Um, it exhausted Coco a little bit. We actually brought her home midway through. Um, yeah, got myself a bit more panettone. Got my phone, everything here, all set up, and um, I've chosen my favourites from today. I think would probably be this one. It's quite fun. So um, if I do that, hopefully you can watch me edit it. So I'm going to set that in my favourites so it's easy to find. And then I'm going to go to... Um, Facetune, which is the easiest spot to make things a bit brighter, I find. Um, so favourites, this one. And then I'm going to go to filters. Then I'm going to go to the lighting and press lighter. And it immediately, like you can see before and after, but I tend to make it about 21 on the lighter scale. Um, yeah, seems to work for me. Okay, um, what I do now is I go to the details one just here and zoom in and I'm going to add, I mean it, it is in focus but it's not incredible because we're not photographers <laughs> and, and then I'm just going to kind of go over this with the details tool and it just sharpens it a bit and makes it a little bit more glitzy as such, put a bit on my eyebrows um, and then maybe a tiny bit on my hair just to kind of bring it out a little bit so that it kind of looks a bit more in focus, um, a bit crisper um, but I'd take it off there because actually <laughs> sometimes you can make it just look like you got greasy hair um, but if I zoom in you can see the difference so look that's if I press this button here shows before and after with me pressing the details tool. What I'll do with all my photos, just kind of go through that process. We'll get in focus. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that and seen, like seeing what we get up to whilst we do our photo shoot. It's stressful, I must admit. Like, we do argue a bit because, like, both of us have such strong, kind of perfectionist ideas of how it should look and that obviously then if like the other person's not getting that you're like really really angry but I say like a lot don't I sorry um but one big big tip is um set up put the other person in the spot where you want to have your photo set up the camera if you think that you know better than the other person <laughs> um because like <laughs> I think that and Liam thinks that about each other so um just through like infuriation thing as long as if you cannot get it yourself then they're not going to get it either unless they're a professional so what you do put the other person in the camera uh, in, in front of the camera where you want to be set up the camera with the light that you want the position and everything and then just give them the camera and tell them where to stand and they can just press go um and snap 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 and you can move around and you're in the place and if you're if they're getting if you, they're getting what you were getting that's what you asked for so that's what you get um wow i do ram ramble a bit don't i sorry um but yeah i hope that's been really helpful and um you've learned a tiny bit um and um, make sure you give this a like and subscribe please uh, i'd like to get to a thousand soon um and um press the bell and stuff like that and uh, let me know what else you'd like i think that my next video is going to be how i shoot and compose up my blog um i've got a few tips which i think you'll like um and like how i kind of request products how i then shoot them and then how i code my blog so that it's all kind of in the right um title fonts and stuff like that um anyway um let me know if you would like that i think i'm gonna do that yeah we'll see um anyway see you all soon